Yeah, Charlie Lerman, 11 Dorel Drive, Monroe Township. Yes, sir. Good evening. I believe it was about four years ago that the township took control of the util utility authority, and at that time, the utility authority had in excess of $40 million. Much of those funds were used by Charlie, the... Back off the microphone okay. a little bit there. Okay. Much of those funds were used by the township to offset property tax increases, which at that time was stated by the council was due to the success of many residents challenging their property assessments and possibly other budget expenses as well. Those funds were used over a three-year period resulting in little, if any, municipal tax increases. I would think that the reason why the utility company built up such reserves was simply to address worn-out equipment as well as adding additional equipment to better serve the residents of Monroe Township. No different than boards using community association reser reserves to offset resident maintenance charges and when funds are needed, either assess the residents or try to borrow funds for needed projects. This action certainly would be irresponsible on the board um, and not be in the community's best interest. The action taken by the mayor and council at that time resulted, in my opinion, to simply kick any tax increases down the road, which appears evident by the bond financing you are now seeking and who knows what other financing you might seek going forward. I would like the mayor and council to mayor and or the council to explain to the residents of Monroe Township the benefit in using utility company funds to offset tax increases, thus draining those reserves and the effect of bond financing you are seeking because those reserves are no longer available. Thank you. Mr. Hell, can you talk about the bond yes, um, itself? <clears throat> and I'm going to talk about it in conjunction with the Standard and Poor's rating review to which we just had within the last two weeks. Um, one of the things, obviously, that is important in terms of uh, getting a, a bond rating is obviously the, the ability of a town to facilitate and navigate a stormy day. And, and let's face it, we've had our, our share of stormy days with the, the economy, the recession, the downturn in real estate values, and ultimately the tax appeal uh, refunds and, and large, large amounts of refunds that we, we issued. Um, on top of that, you know, the, the, the whole prospect of financing utility bonds was it was a change in philosophy. I've, as I've said repeatedly over the last several years here, the, the philosophy of the mayor and council, with all due respect, is that we have a useful life of 30 years. It shouldn't be born and, and born by the, the ratepayers of today. It should be spread out over that 30-year useful life. So that was the that was the rationale that was used rather than taking cash reserves to pay for long-term capital improvements. And as you, you did yourself indicate, and as Wall Street has recognized, we have used those cash reserves to sustain ourselves with minimal tax increases to get through those stormy days. So, I mean, that's really, really in a nutshell yeah. in terms in of in why addition, we do what we do. In addition, currently there's about one-third of the township that is not on water and sewer. They have wells or septic systems. If we don't do financing, those people, when they eventually come on, get a free ride. So the, the lifespan of the uh, repairs and those people that are going to come on in the future will be bearing the burden of uh, whatever the, the burden is. In addition to that, the interest rates are so low today that it doesn't make any sense not to finance bonds. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else in the public? Seeing none, roll call, please. Councilman Delina? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. Council Vice President Koppel? Yes. Council President Chambiro? Yes. Nine. Introduction of an ordinance entitled Ordinance Amending Chapter 122 entitled Vehicles and Traffic. This is the remove a stop sign on Cleveland Avenue, add a stop sign in River Street and Astor Place. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move it. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councilman Delina? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. Council Vice President yes. Koppel? Council President Chambiro? Yes. Ten. Introduction of an ordinance entitled Ordinance <laughs> Accepting the Conveyance of a Deed of Easement and accepting land to be dedicated for the purposes of sanitary sewer and water easement and emergency access easement in Renaissance at Monroe Residential Subdivision from Sentex Homes, LLC. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. 
Roll call, please. Councilman Delina? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. Council Vice President Koppel? Yes. Council President Tambiro? Yes. 11. Introduction of an ordinance title. <clears throat> Ordinance accepting the conveyance of a deed of easement and accepting land to be dedicated for purposes of sanitary sewer and water easement and emergency access easement in Renaissance at Monroe Residential Subdivision from Paul Brotman, Murray Torposky, and Rosalie Torposky. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. Okay, roll call, please. Councilman Delino? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. yes. Council Vice President Koppel? Yes. Council President Tambiola. Yes, 12. Introduction of an ordinance entitled Loan Ordinance of the Township of Monroe in the County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey, approving and authorizing the entering into execution and delivery of loan and security agreement with the Middlesex County Improvement Authority for the undertaking of various 2015 capital improvements and the acquisition and installation as applicable of various equipment with an estimated cost of $609,000. <coughs> The cost of such improvements and equipment to be financed through the issuance of county guaranteed capital equipment and improvement revenue bonds, series 2015 of the Middlesex County Improvement Authority. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Councilman Delina? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. Council Vice President Koppel? Yes. Council President Tambiro? Yes. 13. Introduction of an ordinance entitled An Ordinance of the Township of Monroe in the County of Middlesex, State of New Jersey. Approving and authorizing the entering into execution and delivery of a lease and agreement with the Middlesex County Improvement Authority relating to the issuance of county guaranteed capital equipment and improvement revenue bond series 2015 of the Middlesex County Improvement Authority. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councilman Delina? Yes. Councilman Leibowitz? Yes. Councilwoman Schneider? Yes. Council Vice President Koppel? Yes. Council President Tambio? 